but there is a glimmer of light from the darkness of Ajit Pai's reign of corporate trollism. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is suing the FCC for this ruling, and this is one of like 70 lawsuits against Pi. Also, Congress can overturn it within 60 days. So basically to foil the plot of a Pi to make everyone have an AOL email account and prove once and for all that the internet is a fad just like all our grandpas have been saying, we have two months for Congress to band together and for once do the right thing. And also hope that this lawsuit goes all the way up to the Supreme Court. There's also the option of a municipal public broadband network. Municipal broadband would be a, a broadband, preferably a fiber network, that is um, built, owned uh, by a municipal government, and in many cases an electric utility. Which, by the way, having an electric utility uh, run a, a broadband network is a great idea because um, uh, not only does that ensure that it's going to connect to every home and business if it's on the back of the electrical grid, but you can actually connect them so that there's, there's the electrical grid itself has internet connection and you can get instant data off of it. You can reroute power more easily, um, reduce the duration of outages. Um, but yes, yeah, so that would be a municipal broadband network would be one specifically uh, built and run by a municipal government, whereas public broadband, I'm using a bit more loosely, um, that could also, you know, be like a county broadband network, or if there's nothing like this that exists, but like one run by a state, for example, or a, or a rural electric cooperative. Do you feel yeah. that municipal is the best, the smaller the, the, the locale, the better? So most of the public broadband networks that exist in the United States are in pretty small municipalities. I think that this sort of mid-sized city, you know, smaller city is, is, is actually, actually a great place to start doing this kind of thing because um, the investment is not so huge that it's, the initial investment's not going to be so huge that it's totally overwhelming, but the market's going to be large enough to actually sustain the network and make it profitable. And then from there, it can actually grow out into expanding communities and start, start to serve outlying towns and rural areas. This is actually something that was happening organically, not just in Chattanooga, but outside of um, Wilson, North Carolina, with their municipal broadband network. They were this means that things like the internet would be in the hands of the people that use it. The consumers, the public, the proletariat. The power of information is at our fingertips.